Let's talk about this when we come back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Will. Welcome to Real Robots, Episode 2, where we continue building our bartender robot. We're going to spend a lot of time on the head and neck and also the body panels. We need to finish those up from the last episode. And that kind of brings me to this. I love 3D printing. I think it's the closest thing as you can get to a Star Trek replicator. But sometimes you have failures. Sometimes you have lots of failures. You have to make a decision. What parts do you toss and which parts do you salvage? In this episode, I'm going to discuss some of the techniques that I use to bond multi-piece parts together, but to also fix some of those issues, like we had warping on my PETG parts. We're going to discuss how to fix those on this episode. Let's get started. When I'm designing multi-piece parts, I put several 1.75 millimeter holes in each part. Once the prints are finished, I then drill out the holes and add a piece of filament and clip them off at about a quarter of an inch. Then I put the two pieces together and push until I hear a click. Instead of using glue to bond the pieces together, I end up using an old soldering iron and I melt the pieces together, creating a solid part instead of separate pieces being glued together. All right, now that we've got the body panels fused together, we're gonna to keep on moving forward. We're gonna fill in some of the larger cracks with uh, body filler, and uh, some of the smaller cracks we'll get in there with some glazing spot putty. And then uh, we'll start sanding them down. move on from the body panels to the head. I think probably sand each piece separate, bond them together, and then work on the seam. Seems to be a logical way to do it. That way I can still have access to um, the inside of the face in case I want to put um, the eyes in before I fuse it together. So, you know, when you're designing stuff, the, there's got to be one, two, ten things that you overlook. One of them is uh, the speaker for his voice. I didn't leave any room in the head for a speaker. So we're going to dismantle this Bluetooth speaker that I bought for a couple bucks off of Amazon and um, see if we can get it mounted somewhere inside the head and drill some holes so we can hear the sound. And um, hopefully I'll have a voice. Let's get started.
take a look at the components for the I module. First we have the Blink M programmable LED, which is controlled over I2C. Each of those will be placed inside the cylinders. And then on top of the cylinder is a filter for the LED. And then on top of that is the 3D printed eye. take the eye light module that we just made and we'll glue it inside the head. We're going to start working on the neck mechanism. Let's take a look at the components. First we have the servo which moves the head left and right. And then we mount in a disc sandwiched between two hubs. Then we add the bracket that the threaded rods go into. And finally we have our zero backlash U-joint that is connected to 2020 extrusion for the neck. These are the servos that will make the head move up and down and also tilting to the left and right. The first thing we want to do is reset these servos so they're set at 90 degrees. Then we can attach the horns and mount them into their frames. I managed to take the hardware that came with the servo and cut it down and utilize it for two brackets for the threaded rods.
<laughs> oh yeah, there's a couple people still left. Yeah, that was a long video. Yeah, I'm just finishing up some coding. Get the robot to move. Yeah, cool. All right, chat later. So we're almost done. Just finishing touches. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Okay, let's try again. Maybe more coding. Three, two, one. <sighs> oh, how dreadful. Where are my arms? Monster Will, you will be creating arms for me, won't you? How will I serve beverages to my customers? You know that I am programmed to serve drinks. All right, that's it for this week's episode. Join me on the next one, where we're going to start working on the pump station. The pump station is the part of the robot that dispenses the liquid into our cup, so it's a great episode. Not going to want to miss that one. If you liked this episode, please subscribe, hit the like and notification buttons. If you want to support Will and Real Robots, consider becoming a member on the Patreon page. The links are in the description below. I'll see you next time on Real Robots.